Welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at another app, specifically this one is called Be My Eyes. This is a visual assistance app, and the main difference of it compared to other visual assistance apps is that it uses a real person in real time to identify things. So let's get into it. When you open the app, you start with two options. You can either choose to call a volunteer or you can volunteer yourself. For this video, we are going to learn how to call a volunteer. And once you select that, it will ask you to sign in or sign up. I'm going to sign up using my email. Then it will take you to a page where you will enter your first name and last name, your email, and create a password. And the password has to be a minimum of six characters. For my email, I will just choose nick at mymdrc.org. And then for the password, I'll just let my phone generate a strong password. Once you're done, it will ask you to verify your email. You'll need to go into your email and verify it through a link. And then after that, it will take you to the language page. So then we select a language. And then the page after will ask if we'd like to be notified about news and stories from the creators. And I'd like to learn more about this, so I'm going to choose yes. Then you will be taken to this welcome page where it will show you the types of calls you can make. We are going to start with calling a volunteer. Once you get past this introduction, you'll get to a Get Support page, which is one of four pages. On this page are the Call a Volunteer button and Specialized Help button, so let's try calling a volunteer. Alright, to do this I had to record from another device, but here's how you would call a volunteer. Once you have your rating, then you will be taken back to the support page. Now let's look into browsing specialized help. This button is below the call volunteer button, and it takes you to a list of options for specialized help. From things like technology, grooming, beverages, cleaning, and much more. Once you find what you'd like, you can click on it and call that volunteer. So now that we've explored that, let's look at the other pages. The next page is the community page which offers a variety of content like stories, blogs, and podcasts. I encourage you to check this one out. This is very interesting. They have a lot of useful info. For example, if we scroll down to the blog side of things, there is a very useful blog about a Department of Health in Ohio that is testing support through Be My Eyes. So there's kind of a mix and match of personal information and public information. After that, we have the Learn page. This has a collection of ways to learn about the app. So just for an example, let's go with Get Started. I'll click on this, and it will take me to the Get Started page. On here you will find different guides with tips that I find very helpful. If you're looking to learn about the ins and outs of this app, this Learn page is the way to go. If we click on Basics, it gives us six tips. from Things like how to call a volunteer, specialized help, the way video calling works, and even information about the privacy of this app. This can be very helpful and it goes very in depth, so like I said, I encourage you to check it out. And finally, we have the settings page, which is the tab furthest to the right. On here you will find ways to customize the app, like your profile settings, language settings, notification and Siri shortcuts, 
or ways to connect with the creators through social media. All of this is very useful to customize the app the way you like it. And now with that said, that's Be My Eyes. This app is free and available on the App Store and Google Play. If you'd like to learn more about this app or other assistive technology, please contact our program. Thanks for watching.